Hello and welcome to Mediocre Meals. I'm Benny Crocker. And I'm Sir Stylin. To the step. So, today, we're gonna be making Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. Yes, because without our guidance, who would know how to make these? But, Betty Crocker, aren't there instructions on the package? Well, uh... No. On to the first step of preparation. First, you must open the package, but you must be very careful as this dough is... Poppin' fresh! Yes. Just like my dance moves. It made my pop, so... Okay, so, opening the package. Wait, shouldn't we wash our hands first? Don't get fresh with me, or I'm gonna pop a cap in your ass. I'm just gonna be poppin' fresh. Uh, us professionals, we dirty our hands before we cook. Okay, we're outside now. Let's uh, let's go find some dirt. There's always dirt in the road. Come on, let's Good go. Good call, Sir Stylin. Ah. <laughs> nice and dirty. All right, that's sufficient. Let's go back inside and make those crescent rolls. <laughs> Definitely. All right, now that our hands are nice and filthy, we can open this package. It has this yellow pull tab right here. You just pull it, and it's supposed to open by itself. But when that doesn't work, you, you hit it on the counter. There we go. Or cookie dough. It's not cookie dough, it's crescent roll dough. Four crescent so, roll dough. So then when you do this, you um you got dough. And then you're you probably should have done this step earlier, but then you go get the cookie sheet. And you don't grease it because we didn't tell you to. And then you, you put the dough on here. Yeah, see, then you roll it into crescents, and, well, that was pretty easy. Should have been the first step, but we never said we were doing this right. But you gotta preheat the oven to, uh, <clears throat> over 9,000 degrees. And while we wait for that to preheat, let's have a drink or two. <sighs> this is just grape juice, by the way. We're only using the wine glasses to look cool. We look very sophisticated, especially me with my crazy wine glass. Yeah, I think it's working. It's a mighty fine glass you've got there. I know. It's totally styling, just like me, because I'm totally styling. Oh, what's that? The oven's preheated. <clears throat> yep, over 9,000 degrees. It doesn't tell you how much over, but it's over, so I guess it's good. It's time to put the tray in the oven. You're ready, sir, styling? Of course. All right, first you gotta open the oven. Then you take your tray, and you put it on the thing. And then he closes the oven door. Yeah. Now to set the timer. So, um, uh, you set timer for like that many minutes, maybe more, maybe less. It, you just put it in there, and then you wait. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go wash my hands. All this dirt is like cramping my pop and freshitude. Hey, what smells like crap? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, I said something smells great! Oh, hello Captain Kibbles. We're making Hillsbury brand crescent rolls. They're almost done. Wanna try one? How stupid do you think I am? Hey, we're running a quality cooking show here. We only make the best stuff with the freshest ingredients. 
Poppin' fresh! Oh, Sir Stylin, you have returned. See. Si. Well, it appears that we have a visitor. Captain Kibbles of the Cat. Sir Stylin, the the things, the crescent rolls, yeah, the, they're ready. We had better go take them out of the oven. That's a good idea. We need oven mitts. These oven mitts cram my style. Don't they look magnificent? Oh yeah, we should probably turn off this timer. Okay. They are finished. And now, we will ingest them. Captain Kibbles, I'll offer again. Wanna try one? They look delicious. Well, unlike you guys, I value my life. So, no thanks. You're trying one, whether you like it or not. I'm so offended! Don't worry, Sir Stylin. He's going to eat one whether he likes it or not. And I may or may not have already said that. Here you go, dig in. Ah, oh, this tastes like crap! <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Well, he, he was old anyway. Uh, well, let's dig in. Sure, why not?